What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jonathan with Poise. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to build out collections pages for Shopify. Now I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to get this done. And then I'm gonna show you an awesome app that I use to design more custom collections pages with your Shopify store. So we're now in my demo store. It's Hot Sauce Teas, and we're gonna take a look at how to build out a collection. So on the left side of the screen here, let's click on products. And then once we're in the products category, let's click on collections. And we're gonna create a new collection here at the top right side of the screen. So let's give our collection a title. Let's call this one Best T-shirts. And a quick description. The best T-shirts in the North West. Okay, then we're gonna give our collection an image. And I've saved a couple images to use for this. Here's one of a guy wearing a t-shirt. Now our collection type can be either manual or automated. If it's manual, then we're gonna add products to it ourselves. And if it's automated, then it's gonna automatically add products based on a rule. So I want it to automatically add products with a product tag that's equal to shirts. And I've already tagged a few products with that tag. Down here at the bottom of the collection, we see an SEO preview. And for SEO, we're probably gonna to wanna to change our title and description a little bit, make it a little bit more unique and custom to our store. So now that we've saved this collection, we're gonna add it to our main header menu. And we do that by going to online store and then clicking on navigation. And from here, we're gonna to go to main menu. And then once we're in the main menu, you can see that we have four sections built out. We have home, just in, about us, and trending. And I wanna add it to the trending section in the menu, but I'm gonna show you how to add that section first. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and then add a menu item. Let's call it trending, it's already saved here. And then we're gonna link this to all of our collections. Now we're gonna specifically add our new collection as a dropdown in the trending submenu. So here's how we do that. We're gonna call this menu item best shirts and then we're gonna link it to collections, but under collections, we're gonna to go to best t-shirts to get to that specific collection. And then we're gonna add it to the menu. Now, once we've added it, we're gonna grab it right here and shift it slightly to the right under our trending section. You see how it pops out with the bubble? And now trending has become a drop-down menu. So we're gonna hit save. So now that we've added best shirts to our menu, let's take a look at what this looks like in our online store. And I've opened up a preview over here of our hot sauce tea store. Let's go to the top menu and click on trending. We can see best shirts is in the drop down. And then when we click on that, that takes us to the best shirts collection. It has the picture that we added for the collection and then the two t-shirts that we automatically added by product tag. All right, so let's take a look at a more customizable approach for building out our collections page on Shopify. And I'm gonna be using the Shogun page builder. If you're not familiar with it, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. Now that we're in the builder, let's click on create new page. And we're just gonna build out a standard page and use it as a collection page. So we're gonna choose from their template directory and they have an awesome list of templates that we can kind of start with. It makes the job a lot easier for us. And so they have a collections template right here that we're gonna use. And we're gonna name it new shirts. Go ahead and create that page. All right, so now that we're in the page builder, we can kind of play around with this and add our own touch to this collection page. So I'm gonna start by adding a picture to the collections intro and we can add our own image. We're gonna go with this one. Now we can easily edit the title just by clicking on it and typing new shirts, introducing. Okay, and then this section right here, I actually don't like because I don't have a lot of information I can fill the banners with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. And then we can add to the hot deals section just by clicking in and selecting a product that we have. So we're gonna add one of our products. And then these other product sections right here, I don't actually wanna use because I don't have enough products at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. And now we have our first collection section right here and then another collection section. And once again, I don't have enough products uh, populated in my demo store. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of those sections and just show you guys how to use this other section right here. So we can add an image and the ideal image is 800 by 400, but I don't actually have that size image. So I'm gonna use uh, the earlier image that we used for this collection and just roll with that one. And we can kind of tweak it a little bit to make it work. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add products that are a little bit repetitive. Uh, we can just pretend like we're using new products because in a real example, we would be using different products. 
And so we have three product sections, but we only want two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the broader section and then I'm gonna go up here to the right side of the panel and go number of columns and just reduce that to two. As far as our layout goes, I don't really like how small this picture is. So I'm gonna click on the two columns on the overall section and I'm gonna go to column sizes and kind of drag that. It gives a little bit more balance. And then we have this extra product box that we're not using. So I'm gonna click into that and delete it. Now we have some nice little icons about support and returns. As far as the newsletter, I just wanna change the background color and it'll still look pretty nice. We wanna create a nice little message here. It tells people to sign up. And then we can even add customer reviews to our collections page. And but now we have a very good looking product collections page and it took very little time to make, but it's significantly better looking than what you're gonna see normally on Shopify stores and it kind of just puts you ahead of the competition. So let's save this and then we're gonna go ahead and preview it and see what it would look like. All right, so here's our collections page and it's got this nice header, which we can add more to if we want to, but it looks really good and clean. And then we have the two hot deals, products, and then our collection right here, which really has a nice big picture of, you know, someone wearing one of our tees that we really like. And then, you know, some more icons and newsletter sign up and reviews, which is far more than what you normally get out of a collections page. And there's really no limit to how custom you can make these pages uh, with the Shogun page design app.